Hey, so we're going to be using Firestore, the Firestore Cloud Database, and also Firestore File Storage. <laughs> Sorry, a lot of fire and file and store. Um, but the uh, storage is a file system. The Firestore is a database. And uh, both of them rely on authentic an authentication system, which tracks users. And I wanted to give you a little bit of a high-level introduction to Firestore to show you where to get the documentation and to show you uh, how to sign up with Google uh, for your own account and how to get that account hooked up to your project. But I'm not gonna go into super amounts of detail because uh, I found that the exact steps change uh, somewhat frequently and the uh, documentation that Google has is now uh, super good and includes videos and stuff. And so I'm just gonna sort of point you to this in a, in a general sense and also make some, some sort of general comments. So uh, here uh, in my web browser, uh, I'm looking up the Firebase uh, documentation and I'm looking at uh, Quick Start. And uh, you can see over here on the, on the corner, we have sort of getting started and we have authentication. The real-time database is the old database. Cloud Firestore is the database we're gonna use. Storage is the file system. And so it sort of tells you like, go to the Firebase console, add a project, you know, hook up the project. And we also saw some of this uh, where we did the authentication, um, uh, uh, the authentication uh, flip classroom and, and, and that material. And there, uh, there's an assistant in um, uh, Android Studio, which will hook itself up to Firestore and you can use that, or you can go and use the web interface directly. Both of them are, are perfectly fine, and there's actually good uh, documentation on how to do both of them. Um, the one thing, uh, yeah, and so this has, uh, again, a bunch of details that are going to change uh, uh, quickly. Um, the thing is, what does it look like to uh, store and retrieve data from the Firebase database? And that is um, the Firebase database is not quite a database like a SQLite database. It is a collection, sorry, it is um, a set of documents that are organized in collections and subcollections. Okay, what does that mean? I actually mentioned this on a previous video. You have a collection name that has a bunch of documents. One of those documents can be a subcollection, okay, that then has documents in it. So, uh, it, if you look at it in terms of path names, sort of the at the root, there is a collection, then there is a document, then there is a collection, then there's a document, collection, document, and it alternates. Okay, so um, here uh, in, in the um, uh, in the, the Firebase uh, stuff, we are grabbing a reference to the root object. And the first thing that we have to identify is a collection. And so we have sort of our base collections. And once you have a collection, you can add a document to that collection. And here the document we're adding is sort of an object. And that document is a set of key value pairs. So key value pairs, the value of one of those keys can be a collection. So it's collection, document, collection, document, okay? Um, and that is, that is sort of the, the data model. And then uh, it allows you, there's video tutorials, and it allows you to um, uh, do queries on collections, individual collections. And by setting things up as collection, document, collection, uh, the sort of sub-collections are independent uh, from each other. And that creates more scalable performance in the, in the general case. That's, that's sort of why they did that. Uh, there's also some uh, access control that you have to manage. I also um, talked to you about that in a, a previous video. So um, when you set up a uh, Firestore, this is, this is something that's already set up. You go to the console, oh, that was good, console. Um, and it lists your projects. If you set things up in uh, Android Studio, it will take care of this for you. 
Otherwise, you have to set up a particular project. You give it a project name. It then asks you for the SHA-1 hash of the project. Uh, we've covered this before, but let me just, you know, very quickly sort of show you that because it's, it's always good to have that um, in your back pocket. Um, and that is, sorry, let me bring this down here. Um, uh, so I, I popped out this menu from Gradle. Uh, notebook, that's just the name of the project, TAS Android signing report, double click, sort of shows up in here and shows up down here and shot one, this is what it's asking you. And this is related to the key that you're using to sign the, um, to sign your app. And if you go to the app store, you actually need to get a real key, but uh, for all the stuff we're doing in this um, uh, in this course, everything is sort of in debug mode, and so it's just using the debug key, and this is how you get the the SHA-1 hash. So the uh, name of the application is in the XML file. This is the package name. So in this case, it would be edu.cs371m.notebook. This is the SHA-1 hash that we got from the signing report. If we then want to build the app, we have to switch back in this little embedded menu. So those are those are just some um, tools that you need in order to hook up your project by hand uh, from the console. The other alternative, as I said, is let's goodbye to you, Gradle, minimize this, tools, Firebase. This is the Firebase Assistant, and the Firebase Assistant uh, you know, can help you uh, in terms of getting things hooked up and help you with getting uh, getting things hook up, hooked up to Firestore. This Connect Firebase is going to uh, do the steps that I was just starting to outline in terms of uh, connecting your application to your Firebase account. And it's ultimately going to download this file, uh, Google Dash Service. Well, I think it's google-services.json um, and that has a bunch of uh, information related to your Firebase um, project that allows your app to talk to that Firebase project. It's also got some secrets in there, so you want to be careful with that file. So, you know, that's, um, it's good to know that that stuff is going on under the covers because when you just hit connect, uh, you get connected, but you don't necessarily know what's going on. You don't necessarily know that it's created this file, Google Services, that actually has secrets in it. Um, and then uh, the other thing that's nice about this, this breakout stuff is there's just some good documentation that's, that's highly relevant if you know, you're interested in interacting with, uh, so this is, it's, this is reading and writing documents. It shows you how to read and write documents. Um, a lot of that stuff is available through the, the standard documentation too, but you know, Sometimes it's sort of it's sort of nice when you're like, all right, how do I upload a file? Like, boom, you know, you don't have to sort of find the upload file section of the documentation. It's right there. So that's the assistant, which you can use. Um, either way, uh, when you eventually sign in, the three uh, pieces of Firebase that we're most interested in. One is authentication. Who are your users, and how do we how do we uh, name them? And how do they prove that that they are users uh, in terms of their uh, password? Um, the uh, database, which is a, a set of collections, each collection has a document. Each document has uh, key and value pairs, with you know simple uh, types like string and integer and, and float. And then storage, which is a file system where you have directories and those directories have files. Those files have some metadata, like what type they are. In this case, this is an image, a JPEG. Okay, have fun getting set up with Firestore.